Hey, what's going on, guys? Dopes Warner here, and I am. <coughs> I'm sick and dying. No, but um, I am really sick. But I've been working on my 3D printer, and before I show you guys, I'm letting you know right now, my room is a complete fucking mess. Um, I am back to working six days a week, and literally in my spare time, working on YouTube videos, hanging out with a girlfriend, and so. Everything looks like chaos, so before you judge me on that, I've got a lot going on. So anyways, I figured I would update you guys on what I've been doing over the past couple days in my spare time here when it comes to um, converting the 3D printer from the default board to the Ramps 1.4. So let's take a look. Like I said, my room is a mess. <laughs> like this is literally, we got bed and we've got 3D printer and just parts on the ground. I need a lab, I need a bigger spot, but for right now this is what I've got. So um. Basically, as you guys, I think I said this in my last video, but old board is out. <sighs> New board is right here. Um, and so, so far what I've done is I have programmed the Arduino with a version of Marlin that I found online that was supposed to be catered um, by a member of one of the forums to this particular 3D printer. Um, so I have installed that, uh, or programmed the uh, Arduino with that. I went ahead and manually wired in... Um, I basically bought these, uh, I can't think of what the hell they're called right now, I want to say they're called headers, uh, pin headers, um, or jumper cables, god, I, I honestly don't even know right now, but, um, I bought these, so that way I snipped all of the, um, four motors, or the stepper motors, the X, Y, Z, and extruder, and wired them in with the plugs, which I then plugged in place, um, I also have the extruder hooked up right here, these are the extruder wires that power the extruder, as well as um, this is the thermistor for the extruder and so right now I am able to connect the uh, board to uh, Repetier and I'm able to move all of the different motors, I'm able to move the extruder motor um, I'm able to warm the extruder up and the temperature is going fine on that um, so that is currently what I'm at right now, what I've left to do basically is um, hook up end stops, um, I need to um, mess with the extruder a little bit because although it's heating up I'm getting some weird um, issues when I'm trying to feed the uh, filament into the extruder which I'll probably go over in a different video in more detail I just wanted to again update you guys quickly here um, then I need to also figure out the wiring for the hot the hotbed um, because that is um, the hotbed's not working right now which I don't really care if that's probably gonna be after everything's put back together I'll mess with that because um, with using PLA, I don't even use the hotbed. I don't warm it up at all, so that's not a huge deal at this point in the game. Um, then I have to work on homing the Z, X, and Y accesses, and lastly, a little bit of uh, messing around with the Marlin software. So I've got a ways to go, but I'm getting a lot closer in terms of with the electrical, um, and a lot of the other stuff will be just fine-tuning and software side. So really excited. Things are a mess, but it is definitely... Um, I was very happy when I was able to connect the board and see that um, you know all the components were working, and that I was able to get movement out of all the different motors and whatnot, so that I know way I know that my like wiring is at least correct up till now. So I will keep you guys updated, um, and uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. And I'm out, Dope Swanner. Peace. Hey guys, don't forget to hit the like button on the bottom of this video, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe for new great videos every single week, including monthly giveaways. Thank you so much for checking out this video, and I'll see you guys next time.